Hello everyone, welcome all of you. So in this session we will see how we can execute failed test cases in the Selenium web driver automatically using the Arretry Analyzer interface in the test engine. So until now we have seen the different uh, test engine listeners and their usage in the automation framework. Let's say in the my iTest listener we have used this on test failure method to take the screenshot whenever any test is getting failed. Okay, so this method will take the screenshot automatically after the failure. So there is another very basic and normal automation scenario in the real-time projects to run the failed test cases automatically. So that can be achieved by using this iRetry analyzer. So this is useful in case of flaky test. Okay, flaky test that means sometimes it get passed, sometimes it fail due to the app slowness or network issues or machine issues. Okay, so we have we can identify those test cases and we can retry those test cases automatically in our automation framework. So you can add the maximum retry count as per your requirement, how many times you need to retry the failed test cases and if method pass in any one of the retry attempt then final status of that test engine method will be marked as pass. Okay and if that method failed in every attempt okay in every retry attempt then final status will be failed. So you need to add this retry class information you need to create a custom test ng class to implement the iRetry analyzer and that information you can provide at the test ng method level. So for the demo purpose I have created this flaky test class okay inside this we have this flaky test demo method. So this method I have added this logic so that this method is going to fail for two executions count. Okay so for first two execution we are asserting assert true and we are sending the false right. So for first two execution this method is going to fail and in the next execution this will comes into the else block and we are passing the true that means in the third execution it will pass. So we will provide the retry count is equal to 3 and this method should be executed two times okay two times it should executed and the third time you will get the pass result okay and the final status of this method will be marked as passed. Okay, so for that purpose we need to implement the iRetry analyzer. So again I will add that class in the listeners itself. So let's create a Java class. So my iRetry analyzer going to implement the iRetry analyzer from the test ng. Okay, so we need to implement this interface that's why it is going us the error so we need to implement the method available in this interface so click on ok so only one method uh, this interface contains that is retry so this method by default going to return the false value okay this is going to return the boolean values true and false so by default it will send the false that means i don't want to retry my test ng method right and if you want to retry your failed test case or failed test engine method we need to send the true from here right so for that purpose we need to add the condition first so if uh, i can check the status of the method and then i can send the true and false or you can directly use the retry count okay so for that purpose i will create a private variable here private integer let's say retry count is equals to zero Okay, and one more variable integer variable we required the for the maximum retry count. So again I will use the private integer let's say max. So as per your requirement you can add value over here. So here in the block I can directly use this condition if the retry count is less than maximum retry count. Okay, if retry count is less than maximum retry count, we need to send the true. Okay, so before returning the true, we need to increase our retry counter, right? So we need to increase this one. Okay, and for more understanding, we can add a print statement here. Retrying the test, we will print the name of the test that we are retrying. So how you can get it using the result dot get name method and also we can print the attempt attempt number equals to 
okay so like this we can print the statement in the console so that you can understand which method is getting retry and how many attempts it has retried from the console itself so one more condition which is uh, not a mandatory here you can add here like uh, only test ng method when it is failed then only we are going to retry so this condition is not mandatory still i will show you how we can use it so result dot we have is success method so this will return true or false if test ng method pass it will return the true and if it is failed it will return the false so we need to change the false to true that's why we have added there not okay so instead of or we need to add the and condition here okay so this condition is uh, not a mandatory one you can only use this condition as well So now we need to provide this uh, my try analyzer class to our test ng method. So for this method, I will use the retry analyzer equals to you the name of your retry analyzer class dot class you need to provide. Okay, and you need to import that class as well. Okay, so for this specific method only, I am going to use my retry logic. So I have created the second uh, test ng method as well. So this method is also going to fail. So we are passing the false here so we have not added the retry analyzer information for this uh, second method so test ng will not retry this method okay even though it is fail so now let's run the both the methods from this bracket test using the test ng xml so i added this class information over here so let's run as test ng xml so here for this test uh, you can see retrying the test flaky test demo attempt number one okay so for the first time it is going to retry the flaky test demo again in the next execution it is going to fail right so we have added this condition execution count is less than equal to 2 so again it is going to fail so that's why it is retrying for the second attempt okay so this time it will send the true that means in the third execution it get pass so final status of this flaky test demo is marked as pass and if we add let's say 4 here so for every execution this method is going to fail so this will be retried three times and final status will be marked as fail okay so this method retried for three times you can see here and final status is marked as fail and test ng did not retry this normal test demo as we have not provided the test ng retry analyzer information for this annotation so that is all for this session guys uh, this is how you can implement this iretry analyzer to run the fail test case automatically in the selenium